Hi there, it's Tiffany of Clarity Confidence Courage, Women's Empowerment. Welcome or welcome back. You know what really pisses me off? When I see a smart, kind-hearted woman playing small. It's like you can tell she has so much inside of her because every now and again she lets it out for the world to see. But then she sinks back down, back into this small space, limiting herself and shutting down her voice. And don't get me wrong, it can be extremely difficult to have massive confidence and be bold when you've never been taught how to do that. Remember, part of who you are as an adult is what you learned as a child. And for many girl children, playing small is what kept them safe. Being a quiet child might have been seen as being obedient. Being an agreeable child, instead of using your voice and talking about your needs, that kept the peace in the house. So it might have been good at that time. The issue is when you grow up and become an adult woman, it doesn't serve you to keep playing small. As a matter of fact, you want a, if you want a successful life, it requires you to unlearn that old behavior and those old beliefs. Part of the reason women have economic rights is because of women that came before us, our foremothers, who made a decision to take up massive space and play big, even when others didn't agree. That's okay. And if they could do it, we can do it too. So if you struggle with downplaying your accomplishments, second guessing yourself and your decisions, or hesitating on pursuing your dreams, it's time to change the narrative. And I'm gonna go over in this video a few steps to help you get started. Now, as always, before we jump in, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, so that other smart, intelligent women who want to create a life that they love can find the channel. First tip to take up more space and play big in your life is to first recognize and release outdated beliefs and behaviors that are holding you hostage. Like I said, growing up, you may have learned certain beliefs and behaviors that made logical sense as a child. It kept you safe, it kept you out of trouble. But now that you're older, it's time to evaluate if they are still serving you. Take an inventory and ask yourself, are there certain beliefs and behaviors that you do that are no longer good for you? Are they holding you back from becoming the woman that you want to be? Now, I'm not saying throw the baby out with the bathwater and just get rid of everything you've ever been taught, but really give yourself some time to sit down and actually write out or journal out the answers to these questions. And remember, two things can be true at the same time. It can be true that your caregivers or your parents did the best they could at that time. And it can be true that it's time to release some of what they taught you in order to have a better life. If you're struggling with doing this, reach out for help. Sometimes it's hard to see the picture when you're standing in the frame. So having an objective voice from a professional therapist or a counselor to actually walk you through and help you point out those things that you may not see. The next step, embrace your unique strengths. Every woman possesses a unique combination of strengths, skills, and experience that shapes who she is. So instead of just conforming to outdated stereotypes of what a woman should be, or societal pressures, embracing these strengths allows you to authentically shine. Be who you are, whether you excel in leadership, creativity, empathy, or problem solving. These qualities define your path to success and fulfillment. You know, I spent a great deal of my life trying to conform and shrink to what other people said was, quote, normal. And it sucked. It sucked so much. I hated pretending to be someone I wasn't. It was just soul sucking. <laughs> when I finally started to step deep into my zone of genius and embrace what really made me Tiffany. 
I felt so free because I no longer listened to the people who said I was weird or unusual or to this or to that or whatever story they made up to feed their own egos and insecurities. When I decided, you know what? I'm just going to be me and I'm okay if people don't like it. I don't care if people don't agree. When I decided a whole new world opened up for me, a world that affirmed my gifts, that loved my weirdness and my quirkiness. So what are your gifts? What do you love? What do you like to do? And I don't care if it's gaming or racing or race car driving or painting or coding or doing hair or sewing or whatever it is you love to do, do it. Be you, because nobody else can do that job. Number three, overcome self-doubt and fear. Self-doubt and fear often hold women back from reaching their full potential. Recognizing and challenging these internal barriers is crucial. Start by reframing negative thoughts into positive affirmations. Start celebrating your achievements, no matter how small you think they are. And remind yourself of the value you bring to every single situation, because nobody can be you. This might mean stepping outside of your comfort zone and trying new hobbies or going to new events or traveling to places that you've never been before or even joining new groups. This may mean overcoming fear of what other people said about you or what other people might think about you or what they might say to other friends about you. And yes, they might gossip about you. They might get jealous. They might even stop talking to you. Let them let them. Your focus needs to be 100% on you, your goals, your life, your achievements, your dreams. Don't let doubt and fear of what other people think keep you stuck. Trust me, keep going. Four, own your own voice and vision. Your voice matters, whether in boardrooms, classrooms, or community gatherings. Speaking up and sharing your perspective can drive meaningful change. Don't underestimate the power of your ideas, your insights, your thoughts. Be willing to embrace opportunities to advocate for yourself and for others. Champion causes that you believe in. Get involved in organizations that support your vision and inspire those around, all around you to do the same thing. One thing that I learned on this path is that life is a game. It is. And you can either sit on the sidelines and watch or you can play. Be willing to play. Take a stand on your passions, on your beliefs. Don't just exist. Live. Be alive. Lastly, drop the dead weight and cultivate a real, a real supportive community. If you've got to drop dead weight, the people that are doing everything they can to keep you small, those people that are doing everything they can to hold you back and put you down. It amazes me how often many people are invested in doing everything they can to make sure other people don't succeed. It, it, it baffles me. You know these people. They want to put you in your place and make sure you know your role and make sure that you're beneath them and make sure they're above you. I mean, you know who I'm talking about. It's those same family members that bullied you as a child. It's the same fair weather friends that only comes around to talk to you, talk about you behind your back. It's those same needy, soul sucking people that only time they even call you is to complain and to gossip and to talk about how much they hate living and ah, drop them, drop them today. Drop them right now. Because when it comes to playing big in life, you need to be very discerning about who you allow in your life. Surround yourself with individuals who uplift and empower you, who pour into you, who make you feel alive. Seek out mentors, peers, organizations, and yes, real friends who encourage and your growth and celebrate your achievements. They don't try to put you down or put you in your place. They wanna see you grow. Build a supportive network not only provides guidance and inspiration, but also reinforces belief in yourself and your capabilities. You need those people to help you live a beautiful, amazing, successful life. As a woman, you possess limitless potential and the power to shape your own destiny. 
Embrace who you are unapologetically and stop playing small. Step into your fullness of your power. The world needs you. It needs your brilliance and the impact that only you can bring. Let your light shine brightly and know that by doing so, even when other people don't like it, you're inspiring other people, other little girls, other women to do the same. I hope you like this video. As always, remember to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.